What's up guys, Ryan here with Southern Reptiles. These are some Central American wood turtles. You can see one's trying to climb up into that cork bark around. I love these little wood turtles. They're very cheap, affordable, great personality. They eat the same diet as a red foot. They're super easy to care for. Let's see if there's any hiding in here. Looks like there might be one in there. Anyway, so I have a little bit of a surprise. Some red foot hatchlings are hatching out right now. I did a little experiment. I wanted to see if if I didn't put them in the incubator and I just kept them in my garage, you can see the temperature is perfect. It's about 90 degrees right now. At night, it cools down to about 80 degrees. And I keep them in a Tupperware vermiculite and the humidity is just perfect. This is a separate clutch here that was laid not that long ago. This clutch right here was laid, I would say probably about um, I didn't write the dates on them. It was about 110 days ago they were laid, if I'm remembering correctly. And they're, they're just starting to hatch out right now. You can see that beautiful little head poking through. I guess I just wanted to see if, you know, during the summertime, if I had to use my incubator at all times and Obviously I don't, the humidity and the temperatures out here is, is good. And it uh, goes to show that, you know, you can have a fluctuation in temperature. You don't have to have a constant 85 or 87 degrees, whatever you set your incubator at. The, uh, you know, going from 80 degrees, the low at 80 degrees is uh, perfect. And the high of 90 is great. and. That's more realistic to what the temperatures would be like during the day, even though it's in the ground, I'm sure the temperatures would rise and, and cool from day to night. So it's really interesting. So these guys just started pipping through a couple hours ago. They used that sharp little egg tooth on the edge of their nose and mouth there, and they bust through that egg and uh, crack a little spot in it and create kind of like a little window hole there where they pop their heads through, they get their first breath of air. And then from there over the next probably 24 to 48 hours, they'll start breaking all the way out. And with over the next week, they'll absorb their yolk sac. They're born with a yolk sac, which is basically their lifeline of food and nutrients while they're in the nest and kind of building their strength and getting ready to take on the world. They absorb those nutrients from the yolk sac and um, and then eventually once the yolk sac is completely absorbed, now they need to go find their own nutrients and they'll start absorbing, uh, they'll start eating food from the wild, like little leaves and weeds and greens and things like that. So I'd say in the next couple hours, I'll move these guys over to some sphagnum moss. This is sphagnum moss here. You can see there's a red foot in there right now. They love that stuff. The humidity is perfect. They can burrow down into it and it's super nice. They love it. This is a younger hatchling here. Just recently absorbed its yolk sac. Over the next couple weeks, it'll kind of smooth out and the humidity helps with that a lot. So let's bury it back down in here. That one just started eating a few days ago. This one's growing real fast. Very curious, just from the sound of my voice, it's coming out looking for some food. Down here, I got some marginated hatchlings. Very cool tortoise. They're waiting on some food too. This one's looking for little bugs to eat. These guys are very curious, these Central American woods, very cool turtle. They're kind of uh, semi-aquatic when they're born, but as they grow, they kind of become 
uh, more and more terrestrial. I take them out and let them swim around and eat water and food every day. So they love that. All right, well, thanks for watching. Figured I'd do a short little video of some red foots hatching out. And if you want to see what tortoises I currently have available, please visit my website at southernreptiles.net. If you want to visit my Facebook, it's facebook.com slash southern reptiles. And Instagram is instagram.com slash the southern reptiles. Currently have plenty of species for sale. Redfoots, elongated, marginated, Central American wood turtles, Eastern hermans. I have some juvenile hermans I'll be selling. I have some sub-adult Russian tortoises. So feel free to email me through my website or, or you can private message me on Facebook or Instagram. All right, guys, have a good night.